What's up, you weirdos, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have a strange little flick lined up for us. It is David Schmoller's 1979 Just Odd Slasher entry. And guys, it is Taurus Trap. This one is just really strange, really weird, um, for some reason highly unsettling and creepy in parts. You really have to check it out for yourself. So hopefully you will like what you see and hunt it down for yourself. Well, without further ado, let's see what this thing is all about. Here is Tourist Trap. Tourist Trap is a strangely haunting and altogether surprisingly effective pseudo slasher flick. Uplifted by a wild premise and even more manic lead villain, this overlooked and highly underrated horror production captures a magically disturbing quality that truly catches you off guard, while still treading softly in familiar territory that should please fans of the genre. From unsettling locales to batshit crazy moments, Taurus Trap is a cinematic experience that will get under your skin and creep around in your brain long after viewing. The film follows a group of young friends who wind up stranded in the middle of nowhere at a rundown roadside museum curated by an eccentric man named Mr. Slauson and his masked psychotic brother. Hoping to stay the night and fix their broken down truck, the gang settles in and hopes for the best, but Slauson's mentally disturbed brother has other plans. One by one, he hunts and kills the group of friends as he adds them to his warped sideshow of creepy mannequins and other assorted oddities. Chuck Connors takes on the role of Mr. Slauson, a jaded and broken down man whose dreams have been crushed after the untimely death of his beautiful wife. Connors does a commendable job with the warped material as he naturally goes from sympathetic mourning husband to twisted psychopath in a matter of moments and the genuine screen presence that he possesses manages to uplift the production from its hokey premise and equally outlandish elements into fun camp respectability. As crazy as the flick gets, Connors always treats the subject material with great respect, giving the film a much needed sense of weight that it honestly doesn't have any right to garner. Filling in the rest of this tormented nightmare of a film are a small cast of character actors who all bring a sense of fun to this odd production. The main stars are Jocelyn Jones as Molly, a quiet and timid young woman who falls prey to the affections of Slauson and his warped weirdo brother. John Van Ness as Jerry, a macho hero type of the film and vest wearing extraordinaire. Robin Sherwood as Eileen, a nosy young lady who comes to find how curiosity killed the cat. Keith McDermott as Woody, Eileen's bold boyfriend who shockingly ends up losing his head. And finally, Tanya Roberts as Becky, the curvaceous cutie who finds out that Slauson's museum isn't everything it's cracked up to be. By the numbers and true to form, the cast does a respectable job with the maniacal story, and everyone gives it their all in maintaining the flow of the movie into insane territory. That's the true star of Taurus Trap, the levels of insanity that the movie delves into and the depraved personality of Chuck Connors' unlikely antagonist. The inclusion of the creepy museum and its unusual rooms filled with morbid mannequins and the unthinkable horrors that come along with them, you'd be hard pressed not to at least feel uneasy throughout this batshit crazy flick. The level of perverse moments and unforgettable set pieces simply overflow with jubilation as haunting imagery collides with maddening acting and mind-boggling sequences. It's genuinely a nightmare come to life, and the twists and turns the narrative throws at its audience is greatly appreciated and tremendously effective in the overall enjoyment of this oddity. If you're looking for something that's a little off-kilter from the rest of the horror fair out there, then give this one a look. It may be overlooked and it may be off the radar, but what it never is is dull. In the end, Taurus Trap is a sadistic sightseeing cinematic oddity that truly entertains as much as it unsettles the mind. And there you have it, you cinema-loving psychos. That is the all-around batshit crazy and unbelievably weird flick, Taurus Trap. 
it's really creepy, unsettling, and just the whole idea of mannequins coming to life is just weird as shit. But if you like that kind of stuff, check it out. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you all in the next movie review. Take care.